Minnesota Fighting Vikings are getting after it and staying after it in free agency as they scoop up a couple of valuable third and fourth wave of free agents. And Darren Doogie Wolfson, KSTP Sports, reporting that the Vikings are bringing in a cornerback as well as an offensive lineman. No, it's not J.C. Treader and Stephon Gilmore, but... Uh, but here's what he's reporting. The Vikings have free agent quarterback Nate Hairston and offensive lineman Jesse Davis visiting today, I hear. So let's talk about the two potential Vikings today. Background, cornerback Nate Hairston coming over from the Denver Broncos. Six foot, uh, a buck 85, uh, 27 years young. Uh, 2017 fifth round pick out of Temple by the Colts. Became the starter for Indi- Indianapolis in 2018. Was traded to the Jets in 2019 for a conditional six round pick. Spent the last two years in Denver with Ed Donatel. On and off the practice squad, 250 total defensive snaps the last two years, but primarily played slot uh, in Donatel's system, as well as a ton of special teams, uh, although he, do- he has worked on the outside, especially early on in his career. Also, he's played a little bit of safety, so you love the versatility, as well as you love the special teams ability, and as well as the experience with Donatel, will be able to hit the ground running right away, and the Vikings, you know, frankly, they, they could use just a-, a little bit of veteran help, both in the cornerback room, as well as potentially at safety, and certainly on special teams and Nate Harrison would bring all of that. Now we got the meets Jesse Davis offensive lineman coming over from the Dolphins 30 years young six foot six 318 was a 2015 UDFA out of Idaho go Vandals was a bit of a physical freak I like undersized but great explosiveness good agility good speed as well uh, would sync up nicely in the uh, outside zone scheme uh, but also he had a cup of coffee as a UDFA uh, with the Seahawks as well as bounce around with the Jets land in Miami 2016 and has done some relatively good work including he got extended like a three-year 50 million dollar deal man get yours man uh, but he started 72 games uh, with the Dolphins primarily they're starting right tackle as a late but does have a lot of right guard experience uh, as well as a little bit of left tackle Last year, playing on the right side, right tackle posted a 52.5 PFF grade with 57 pressures and eight sacks allowed, which is not, which is not good. It's less ideal. Also had four penalties, uh, but it, it was by far the worst season of his in Miami. That's why he got cut. So this would be a bit of a rehab signing. You have a guy who still has some good football in him and 30 is a really solid athlete would fit in what the Vikings want to do. But if you do sign Jesse Davis, it's not going to be for big money. Also, you're not going to be handing him a starting spot, uh, but he certainly could uh, compete for the starting right guard spot uh, with Wyatt Davis, no matter what, with Blake Brandle, with rookies TBD. Uh, I mean, Worst comes to worst, I think that he his floor is the new Rashad Hill, where you have that swing, backup tackle, bringing a little bit of veteran presence uh, as well. So uh, overall, I would not be mad at it uh, at, at all because look at the offensive line. Yeah, yeah. It, it just add one veteran body. Just one veteran body in there for competition, so that you don't you aren't pigeonholed into drafting a offensive lineman early and often. Same thing with cornerback. It does make a lot of sense. But yeah, the Vikings. Getting after it, staying after it, even though that's not the free agents we wanted. It is what it is. Life goes on, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, reportedly, Vikings bring in cornerback Nate Hairston as well as offensive lineman Jesse Davis for visits today. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once support the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.